I took a slide of it and projected it big and, and until the advantage of that is that you can change the scale easily and um, then I fixed the scale of the of each mark to the overall um, size of the canvas uh, you know which you can change easily when you're projecting so that it was possible to um, you know, to, to change that until I got it, uh, caught that relationship how I wanted it. And uh, just then, just literally drew round, it's very basic, just drew round, the, drew round it. So I had a drawing on the canvas, uh, a line drawing of the thing. And then, and then I painted it, but I, I, I didn't paint it like with a one hair brush <laughs> going over every little sort of mark. I painted it as you would with an ordinary sized brush. Um, and as I say, things changed in the actual physical painting of it. Um, my earlier work was all uh, based, a lot of it was based with the projected transparencies in, you know, wall size projections. And this, this work started out, I had a photocopy machine and uh, yeah, I used to spend hours blowing things up until I, you know, so... And I was going to do this work as a printed, originally I was thinking of it as, as printed, but um, I then um, wanted to, as I say, make it more physical. And um, I thought the way of doing that was, was actually to make it into a painting. And uh, I, I then painted it quite freely. So it did, again, it changed, you know, not only was it blown up from something really small, but it again changed in the painting of it. So, um, you know, it became um, changed through the medium of, of painting, basically. Um, and, and all the sort of differences. I, I mean, the, 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 the skeleton is there from the original um, material that I used, but it's, it, it, it's I hope, well, it's become, a, it makes sense that it's a painting, let's say. You know, it's not, it's not another medium, it's a painting. It's not printed. I mean, it would be very different if I printed it. You know, it would have a very different feel and it would look different. Um, even though the source material is printed, physically, you know, it physically changes, doesn't it? I mean, I, I, obviously the original image before it was printed, all those dots would have been, would look uh, circular, you know, but, um, as you say, when they hit the paper, the, the texture of the paper, and then you blow that up, you see that they're all imperfect. They're all different sort of um, mutations of dots, basically, and, and the other shape. Um, so, you know, when you look at it from a distance, it looks absolutely um, geometric and precise, but actually uh, you blow things up and, and they become, you see that actually, um, Say if you saw that from uh, 100 metres, it would probably look exactly like my little printed original piece of material, <laughs> which from that, uh, that scale looks very accurately drawn, as if everything is, um, is regular. But, um... I mean, in a way, making paintings at that time, for me, was probably quite perverse because I'd be doing a lot of photography, photo photographs, and as I say, using transparencies as well. And, um, and using, I had done a lot of inkjet prints at that point, and suddenly going back into painting seemed sort of maybe perverse, but it, 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 um, it was what I felt I needed to do. And, um, um, I, you know, the first painting I, well, one of the first paintings I did some years before was this painting called Cow Mutations, which was, I'd been looking at, as I say, at packaging and, and barcodes and other things. And I cut out this barcode from this milk cart. There suddenly around this barcode was this sort of diagrammatic um, K 
cow shape, you know, and I thought that's really interesting. And, you know, again, badly printed, but it was a sort of abstraction of a cow. You know, it had of a Frisian cow. And, it had, and it, I think they came in different colours, pale blue or red, or on, depending on the milk and so on. And so I thought about it for a while, and then I was going to do some prints. And then I started doing some ink drawings, developing this and mutating it, and then thought, well, how... I should make this a painting. That's the obvious way of um, pushing this forwards. And uh, I borrowed some paint from a friend, and I got a canvas stretched, and um, and I made this painting, and um, went from there. But um, so it was, it, yeah. Uh, and people, you know, people say, "Why are you painting?" Or you haven't painted before, or, you know. And I think, well. What a stupid, you know, this scene, this was right for me to do f for what I wanted to do at the time, you know. <laughs> and, um, you know, and I could well be doing another painting tomorrow. Um, uh, I think people like to, they, do, they don't like you jumping around, I think they... Um, <laughs>